It's been five years since a bomb cyclone caused significant flooding here in Hornick. Tell us about uh, what the city's done in the intervening five years. So in the last five years, you know, everybody in the town's worked at uh, rebuilding their homes and getting back to a normal state, which yeah, everybody thinks it's a normal state. It's a normal state after a disaster. Whatever that looks like to everybody else, it's different. The city's worked hard. We worked very hard at working with Iowa Flood Recovery to secure the funds to build the berm around town that goes all the way around, goes around us on the east and north and the west side of town. We have worked many long hours at trying to work with FEMA to secure and uh, redo our roads. And one of the hopes there is we're going to be letting that project this year, hopefully in the month of April, to be done this year. And it's been a long, it's been a long, hard road working with FEMA and their policies and procedures. But I hope that we're on the downhill track on that. So tell us a little bit about the resiliency of the uh, the citizens here. Well, resiliency, most everybody stayed, but uh, we only lost three houses due to the flood. You know, uh, 80, well, probably 85% of the town uh, had flood damage, <coughs> one form or the other. And when you look at that and we only lost three houses that aren't lived in today, that's pretty amazing that everybody wanted to stay here in Hornick and come back and rebuild and, and still live here.